Good morning, everyone. A very warm welcome to all of you today here in our continuing journey through the season of Lent as we gather to celebrate the sacred mysteries of our faith. Let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And the Lord be with you. Let us call to mind our own false feelings and sins today, and ask God for his most gracious and abundant mercy. We were sent to heal the sorrowful in hearts, and so we ask, Lord, have mercy came to give hope to sinners in darkness, and so we ask Christ, have mercy. You pray for eternal redemption before our Heavenly Father, and so we ask, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray, especially today, to St. Francis of Rome. O oh God, who have given us in St. Francis of Rome a singular model of both married and monastic life. Grant her us perseverance in your service that in every circumstance of life we may see and follow you through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Thus says the Lord, cursed is the man who trusts in human beings, who seeks his strength in flesh, whose heart turns away from the Lord. He is like a barren bush in the desert that enjoys no change of season, but stands in a lava waste a salt and empty earth. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, whose hope is the Lord. He is like a tree planted beside the waters that stretches out its roots to the stream. It fears not the heat when it comes, its leaves stay green. In the year of drought, it shows no distress, but still bears fruit. More torturous than all else is the human heart beyond remedy. Who can understand it? I, the Lord, alone probe the mind and test the heart to reward everyone according to his ways, according to the merit of his deeds. The word of the Lord. <clears throat> Today's responsorial psalm is, Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. <clears throat> not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. To you, Lord Jesus Christ, glory. 
glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed are they who have kept the word with a generous heart and near the harvest through perseverance. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to the Pharisees, There was a rich man who dressed in purple garments and fine linen and dined sumptuously each day. And lying at the door was a poor man named Lazarus covered with sores who would gladly have eaten his fill of the scraps that fell from the rich man's table. Dogs even used to come and lick his sores. When the poor man died, he was carried by the angel to the bosom of Abraham. The rich man also died and was buried. And from the netherworld, where he was in torment, he raised his eyes and saw Abraham far off and Lazarus at his side. And he cried out, Father Abraham, have pity on me. Send Lazarus to dip the tip of his finger in water to cool my tongue, for I am suffering torment in these flames. Abraham replied, my child, remember that you received what was good during your lifetime, while Lazarus likewise received what was bad. But now he is comforted here, whereas you are tormented. Moreover, between us and you is a great chasm established to prevent anyone from crossing who might wish to go from our side to yours, or from your side to ours. He said, I beg you, Father, send him to my father's house. For I have five brothers, so that they, he may warn them, lest they too come to this place of torment. But Abraham replied, They have Moses and the prophets. Let them listen to them. He said, Oh, no, Father Abraham. But if someone would, from the dead would go to them, they will repent. Then Abraham said, If they will not listen to Moses and the prophets, Neither will they be persuaded if someone should rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. An elderly lady in the parish was dying and the priest, pastor came to give her uh, the last rites. And she was still communicative and and he was saying, well, Marie, you know, you're going on a journey. You'll be meeting Jesus and all the angels and saints in heaven in a very short while. He said, oh, Father, she says, I spend my time here on earth, and I know it's coming to an end, and I really can't wait to rest my head on the bosom of Moses. And the priest said, no, no, Marie, that's the bosom of Abraham. She said, Moses, Abraham, Jesus, he says, at my age, I'm lucky to rest my head on anybody's bosom. <laughs> oh no, Father Abraham, if you would just send somebody from the dead to go to my brothers, speak to them, they will repent. And Abraham said, no, they won't. They won't listen to Abraham and the prophets. They're not going to listen to anybody who rises from the dead. It's kind of a warning for us, isn't it, too? That we should listen to the word of God, living word of God, present among us, and take that advice to live in harmony with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is what we're trying to do during the Lenten season, draw closer to our divine Savior, to listen and to meditate upon his words so that we may not wind up in this place of torment as the rich man did. The rich man could have gotten into heaven if he was kind, at least a little bit kind to Lazarus. But he wouldn't share a crumb from his table. The dogs were fed better food than Lazarus couldn't even get. 
And yet, God saw that and said, you don't deserve to be here. Well, did he make it to heaven? We don't know that. God's mercy is infinite. And we hope and pray that everybody will be in heaven. But uh, kind words, great exhortations, helpful uh, words to one another can be very, very powerful and very, very life-changing. And in our uh, booklet for Lent today, Jessica Agasotto, I want to read just, just, just a sentence from her reflection. She is a convert to our Catholic faith. And she has some nice words to say. And I, I, I'd like to read this because it made all the difference in the world to her. She said, I began private RCIA classes with Mrs. Sharon Beggs, Father Edwards, welcoming demeanor, non-judgmental ways, and kindness allowed me to start letting my guard down and trust in God. Powerful. Powerful. You and I have that same power to influence one another for good, for God, for their salvation. Don't miss the opportunities that come by our way every day. When we see people that we know who should be here in church, who should be receiving the sacraments, who should be on their way to salvation with the rest of us, don't pass them by. His welcoming demeanor, non-judgmental ways, and kindness allowed me to finally trust in God to become a Catholic. Powerful. May I invite you to stand now and together let us offer our prayers and petitions to the Lord, knowing that he hears and answers all of our prayers. Today's response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, that this season of Lent may inspire souls to fervent prayer and devotion, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are given roles of leadership in our local government, and those who are in need of wisdom and energy to do their work, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and their caregivers, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who asked us to pray for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Teddy Bloom, for whom this Mass is being offered, May they be at peace with God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother, that she may help us to help others come to the road of salvation as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now in the hour of our death. Amen. <clears throat> By the mystery of this water and wine, when we come to share in the divinity of Christ, he humbled himself to share in our humanity. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have. This bread to offer which earth is given in human hands, I made it will become for us the bread of life. 
Bless you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. God, we ask that you receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humbled and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. kindness and understanding in our hearts, let us pray that your sacrifice and mine this morning will be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. Rise at your hands, praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all his holy church. By this present sacrifice we pray, O Lord, sanctify our observance that what Lenten discipline outwardly declares it may inwardly bring about through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels as with one voice of praise we all acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Let make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Her way when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving you thanks, he handed it to the disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks for have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray, that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them, Lord, into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her devoted husband, St. Francis of Rome, and all of the blessed apostles, martyrs, and saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us pray the beautiful words, powerful words, that Jesus himself has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done 
on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil and grant us peace in our days. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and safe from all distress and infidelity as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave and my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you always. As we have heard what kindness can do, let us share the peace of Christ with one another. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, and blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy, you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Blessed are those whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Let us pray. May the sacrifice, O God, remain active in its effects and work ever more strongly within us through Christ our Lord. Let us bow our heads for our special Lenten blessing. Abide with your servants, O Lord, who implore the help of your grace, that we may receive from you the support and guidance of your kind protection through Christ our Lord. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace and love of Christ. Thank you all. Have a wonderful day today.